Hey guys, this is me, Hamza 6951 and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple motion sensor circuit and that circuit could be used in a lot of different ways. We will also talk about the components that we use and how they work and it will be a lot of fun, so let's get started. Alright guys, so as you can see, I made a diagram on the board about the simple plan that I have and the components that I'll be using. I basically draw them again on the paper and you know explain you guys step by step how the circuit works and let's get to the components now alright guys so now we'll introduce the components we'll be using a relay which can be used in AC circuits as well it's a 10 amp 240 volts AC so it can support this much voltage we're using, we'll be using this it has five connections we'll be using a terminal strip because this makes the job a lot easier a motion sensor which is the main component We'll talk about how this works and you know the data sheet that it has and switches and one of also one uh, one of the main component is an NPN switching transistor for this uh, project I'm using a 2N2222A switching transistor it's an NPN version and let's get to the diagram now alright guys so this is the motion sensor that we'll be using this is a PIR sensor and the lens is designed so all the infrared rays from all the 360 degree angle is focused on the PIR sensor. If I remove the lens, you can see the PIR sensor right there. Let me just put it back on. And then there are other two important pins right here. This one is a sensitivity pin and I have it uh, fully turned to the clockwise direction. If you turn both of them clockwise, that means they are on their uh, fullest settings. So right now, I mean the sensitivity sensitivity is uh, at its fullest setting, and the sensitivity is about six meters. Uh, you can look at the motion sensor's data sheet uh, because you know that every electronic component has a data sheet, and this is a time delay. So right now, it's set to the lowest setting. It's 2.5 seconds, and when it's turned all the way clockwise, it's 250 seconds. So these two are the main things. Also, one important thing is the re-triggering uh, pin, which is set to these two now, right now. So that means when the motion detect, uh, when the motion sensor turns on and the object stays in front of the motion sensor, it will keep on. If I turn this uh, this part to, let's say, these two pins, the first two pins, now even if the object is in front of the motion sensor, it will turn off and then it will re-trigger again. So I think this setting is not good for our project and we will be using this setting, the last two ones. And looking at the inputs, this the orange line or the orange wire is positive the green is negative and the yellow is the output now they said that in the data sheet of the, uh, of the motion sensor that it can run from 3 volts to 9 volts but I'm using uh, it on 12 volts and, it's, and it works just fine so that's the motion sensor guys alright guys so this is the circuit of the motion sensor I mean the whole circuit that I made and uh, this is the motion sensor that we'll be using the output of the motion sensor is 3 volts which goes to the base of the transistor and when the base is uh, when the base voltage of the transistor the, this is the NPN transistor when the base voltage is more than 0.7 volts the transistor turns on that means that the connection between C and E is it becomes like a short circuit and voltage can flow through this CE, uh, CE uh, junction Otherwise, if the voltage is below 0.7 volts, this is basically an open circuit. So there is no voltage across. I mean, the voltage across here is uh, 12 volts, but there's no current flow through. So when this turns on, it turns the relay on. So this is basically an, you know, the inductor of the relay, which I've drawn here. And then when this relay turns on, it makes connection with C2. So this is one circuit that I made, and this is another circuit. So these two can be any circuits connected using, it, using this configuration. Alright guys, so now we are focusing on the circuit, which is basically the circuit that's connected to the relay switch. So this is what my circuit does. When the relay is in the off position, that means there is no current through the transistor from the collector to the emitter. That means the LED will turn on. And as soon as the motion sensor is triggered, the transistor will turn on, which in turn will turn on the relay. So it will switch to the on position and it will connect to the circuit. And this circuit is basically uh, another circuit. I've connected it to an extension, which is basically connected to any, I mean, you can connect any switch to that extension and it will turn on that uh, device, whatever is connected to it. And I'll show you the circuit that I've made. I mean, not the circuit, the actual working model. All right, guys, so this is the main circuit uh, that I've put in a project box. 
I basically open it and show it to you guys but let's just see for now that I've uh, covered the motion sensor so you know it's not that sensitive and it's only I mean sensing when the object is right in front of it and this is the blue LED and uh, in my circuit diagram I showed you that to any other circuit so basically this is that I've connected those two wires with the terminal strip so and this is basically a 5 meter long wire and it's connecting to this extension so this extension right here is basically connected to this and it will access a switch so whatever device is connected to this will be triggered by the motion sensor when it's on let's see that in action alright guys so now the circuit is connected I've just triggered the motion sensor we'll see that again in action when the motion sensor turns off so right now you can see that the motion sensor has turned off and the LED is on and the LED indicates that the motion sensor is not triggering anything and it's off and as soon as I put my hand in front of the motion sensor the circuit will trigger the switch and then it will turn on the LED there we go as you can see as soon as the motion sensor turns on the other circuit turns off and it will turn off it stays uh, on for about four seconds and I've made the seconds I've made the time delay to be that much and the other part of the extension is connected to uh, the power supply which is right here so the switch power supply is connected here and the black one is the adopter the 12 volt adopter which is connected to my power supply and I actually have a two way power supply for my project I also have a 9 volt battery inside which is connected with the diode I'll show you how that circuit works as well so now we'll basically open the project box and show you what I've done Alright guys, so this is a circuit inside, that's basically the power supply which is going into the you know motion sensor and all that, I mean if you looked at the circuit diagram this is the terminal strip which connects to other circuits and this is the relay that I'm using and as you can see these two wires are for the circuit which is connected to the switch because it's AC voltage and we need you know thicker wires and these two are connecting to the terminal strip right here this right here is the motion sensor and let me see if I can Yep, right there. So you can see that I have changed the knobs a bit for the sensitivity and the time delay. And this just got disconnected because it was just connected back. I'll do that later. Alright guys, so now we'll talk about the circuit, uh, the two-way power circuit. Because I have a 9-volt battery and I have a 12-volt battery. I'll draw the circuit on the paper and tell you how that works. This is basically the diode that I connected. It's a 1N007 diode. And this is the NPN transistor, all glued up. So that's how basically how the circuit looks from the inside. I mean, I, it's very messy. That's why I you know, decided to put it in a project box. Now let's get to the DAT circuit. About the two-way power supply I was talking about, just forgot to show you that there's also a button which is connected to that two-way power supply. All right, guys. So this is the basic diagram of the circuit that I made, the two-way power. So this is basically the main power, this one, which is coming from the 12-volt supply. And uh, this is the 9-volt battery that I've connected. So when the switch is on, the power basically goes from here and this is not connected and basically what this diode does is it prevents the voltage from you know coming from this side to the from the main power supply to the battery and this becomes an open circuit so this basically in the reverse bias the diode acts as an open circuit so basically this is an open circuit and uh, it does not affect the 9 volt battery and obviously when there's no power here when I turn the switch on the 9 volt battery basically runs the circuit and when that happens, the LED that I have on the top right there does not turn the voltage, it gets is really low, so it doesn't turn on. But the relay still works, I mean, it's, it switches on the relay, so that's, uh, you know, still the main part of the circuit. I'll show you uh, the circuit with the 9-volt battery working, so let's get on to that. So basically, this is the whole circuit right now, that I'm going to show you with a two-way power, by switching off the, getting rid of the 12-volt power supply and running it on the 9-volt battery, and you will see that the LED will not turn on. And let me just set it up so you can see the both circuits. I'll basically get rid of this uh, supply right now, the 12 volt power supply. And I'll run it from here. So I'll turn the switch on to green. And I'll put it here. It takes, uh, I don't know, about 60 seconds for the motion sensor to warm up. And then it starts working properly. Alright guys, so the sensor has warmed up now. I'll trigger it and you'll see that there's no power supply connected and the LEDs will turn on and you'd also hear the relay tick right there you heard that tick and it turns on 
um, you heard the tick again and it turns off. So that's basically how the two-way power circuit works. And it's also very handy, you know, in some cases. Alright guys, so that's basically the video for the motion sensor uh, tutorial. If you have any questions regarding the circuit, the components, uh, you know, please ask me. And I'll also upload the data sheet of the motion sensor and the NPN transistor so you can see all the properties and, you know, how to basically, you know, choose the right components for the projects. Alright guys, uh, until next time, see you, bye.